the formidable robot. Have you ever heard of the trend Elsa Gate? You might have heard of it from its disturbing Spider-Man and Elsa videos. It was a controversy that sparked outrage from many many parents. Videos that included Spider-Man and Elsa, in which also included other characters too, like the Joker, Hulk, and so much more, doing very questionable and inappropriate things such as violence, sexual content, injections, fetishes, murder, and more, which is something a kid shouldn't be watching. Channels like Toys Freaks and such were known to the community. The trend began around 2016 and 2017, where kids would be on YouTube and watch questionable videos that aren't supposed to be marketed towards young children. Unfortunately, it's the trend again with characters like Bluey and Huggy Waddy, trendy kids characters doing inappropriate things no kid should ever watch. Thinking about it now, most of these Elsa Gate videos are just eye cancer to watch. Nothing really scared me, but just made me annoyed. Now, there are a few channels that did scare me, one being a channel that went by the name of Hey Kids. Hey Kids is a channel that focuses on multiple things. Videos including finger family videos and other videos such as for example of real life females acting like characters. What they were doing is that they were actually teaching young children to do good stuff and good lessons. This also applied to only one person. They sometimes lip sync certain songs. But there was more to this than that. It wasn't just videos like that, which only featured finger family videos and those young girls teaching young children. There was something more sinister that was just that. Later on, there were videos of what appears to be this satanic looking cracked porcelain doll. It had real human eyes and had a real human mouth. Its appearance is that it sometimes wears different colors of the same clothing. The shirt included a face of a creature. The doll would represent an injured person. The doll would also tell young children about child abuse to their faces and would even insult them on screen. He often would curse at them as well and tell them really horrible shit. The channel even featured connections to artificial intelligence and all such. The channel, whose host was behind voicing the doll himself, would claim statements about AI and artificial intelligence on how it will take over the world. The channel was later taken down due to it violating community guidelines and all such. It later came back with a new channel, rebranded as Hey Kids AI for Adults, in which would later rebrand their archived videos as if they weren't marked for children. The community posts for these children featured some very strange and unexplained things in a different language. Many people have made multiple theories on the backstory of this bizarre YouTube channel. Theory 1 this channel was uploaded by an AI company who has been making robots since. One of the AI company members was the one behind this channel. The man had a fascination with nature and all such. However, he made this channel because of the dangers of AI and how it could create something like this to warn people on what artificial intelligence can do to you. At one point before one channel post was deleted, a message was on screen in Russian that translated to, This is a warning about the future. The real man behind the channel died in 2020 and later replaced with another man who sounded like him. The other man may have been the one who re-uploaded all the videos for Hey Kids AI for Adults. The videos were marketed not for kids and even told that in the titles of the videos. It's pretty clear that is not the case. Theory 2. The channel Hey Kids was ran by a drug addicted psychopath who claimed he has seen a cartoon figure with real human eyes and a real human mouth, and claimed he had dreams of it. The reason as if the women were in the videos, is because they were kidnapped and tortured by the man. The man would force the women to do stuff such as lip sync music to children and such. The reason as for them not talking at times is because they had experienced a lot of traumatic moments due to the man behind the channel. It was pretty clear he was doing this on purpose. They even at times have some terrified expressions due to this. Some even claim the man who was behind the channel was a serial killer who tortured and murdered his victims for filming. They claimed he had dreamed of some bald man with some annoying orange-like face towards himself. For some reason, I refuse to believe that. It seemed like absolute bullshit. Theory 3. 
The reason for this channel is some sort of dark joke because it was a parody of Elsa Gate and it wasn't even remotely targeted for kids anyway. The channel's creator was only screwing around this as some sort of satirical parody of an average Elsa Gate channel that includes Spider-Man and Elsa doing very inappropriate things and all such, in which he would make a channel for that, but not knowing that kids would even watch it. I can understand that idea, but I don't know if it's even true. Theory 4. There was a member at YouTube or Google that decided to warn YouTube or Google not to mark YouTube for children, and that there will be a lawsuit if children visited the website. He was referring to the fact that YouTube is not a website for young children to stay on. He didn't want the website to be targeted for young children and was very aware that YouTube isn't a place for kids. YouTube would later ignore this, but it's too late. In 2020, copper arrived towards children due to the fact the increase of children watching YouTube. This was like an adult swim bumper. Maybe I can believe that theory. But I don't know. I have wrapped up the four theories I have seen so far by the time I'm writing this. Forums have sometimes made other ridiculous bullshit that is easy to not believe in such as the channel was run by a ghost, or the channels run by Satan who will steal your soul down to hell. I didn't believe that. However, what I can say is this. I believe this is more of an ARG than something that was marketed for young children. Nightmind, a YouTube channel has covered a lot of ARGs and including this one. All I'm gonna say is, don't believe in hilariously awful stuff such as the shock videos Baby Burger or Three Orangutans One Blender existing. That is all now, since that may be an explanation on why the channel exists.